It's quite difficult to not become a hoarder. During the past week, I've been to scrapyards, to car boot sales, to deserted industrial sites with scary people. I've been in marble factories working with learning new techniques. I've been doing woodwork, I've been doing waxing, polishing, a bit of everything. Hello, my name is Rupert Blanchard and I'm a designer and maker. From an early age, uh, I was always brought up to be very thrifty. Uh, I was the youngest of four children, so I'd always end up with hand-me-downs and uh, kind of making the best out of what I've got. Way before I was allowed to, I started going to a club in Swindon called the Brunette Rooms. And uh, I didn't realise at the time, but it was designed by an architecture practice called FAT. This interior was uh, a sort of theme from the Hacienda and an athletics track and an allotment and a shed. All of these sort of random, ugly styles combined made something really brilliant. I guess that's when I started being attracted to these random mundane sources and everyday life and really opened my eyes up to it's kind of okay to be different. I try to avoid being connected to the word upcycling. Um, <clears throat> I do like repurpose, but upcycling, I'm just concerned that it's become such a trend uh, that there's a lot of people out there who are basically, they're not upcycling, they're not recycling, they're not repurposing, they are just customizing. And these are pe pieces that they don't really have any longevity and they still ask you know, a high price tag for these pieces. Occasionally I'll do a commission, someone will come to me with something that they found in their granddad's shed that they left and if you can then make that piece relevant for your modern day life and still attach that sort of thought and um, not add to the great landfill, it's, uh, it's got to be a good thing.